video where today I'm going to be showing you how to make an Animal Jam intro. A year ago, I made a video just like this one and it got 30k views. That's insane. But um, there's a new version of Gamtasia out, so a lot of you have been having problems because you can't really download the older version that easily. So I figured I'd go ahead and make a new version showing you how to do it with Camtasia 9. People were really frustrated because Camtasia isn't exactly a free software. There is a free trial and there is a way to kind of just redo your free trial over and over again. So I've had this program for years. <laughs> Open Camtasia 9. There should be, if you just downloaded it, there will probably be something else that I can't remember. But there are um, three options to choose from. So you don't want to do a recording, obviously, and you don't want to open a project. So you can just click new project and this scene, this should open. So it just says enjoy your tribe, blah, 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 blah. You don't need that. So next, you want to find your music. Usually you can just go onto YouTube and have, um, like, let's say I wanted to do just any old remix. Usually are free to use. What about this one? That works. So I go in the description and make sure that it is free to use. And you see, it is not for the use. So that's something that you really need to watch out for. So usually I'll search up Remix free to use because I don't want to get the copyright trick. That would really be very bad. Okay. No copyright, royalty free, any kind of that stuff being searched up works. So now that you've got your music open, you want to just pause it because I don't need to play in the background. And you want to copy and paste the link and search up YT to MP3. This should be the first thing that pops up. Copy paste your link. And then you want to click download after it loads. It usually doesn't take this long, so you probably should be worried if it takes this long. Because this program does have its problems. Just like these redirects, never listen to a redirect, they're annoying. So now that I've got this all downloaded, I'm going to head back to Camtasia Studio. And I'm going to click Import Media and find the file. Ah! And yeah, Camtasia does this really annoying thing where you can't type in the name of the file. You have to click on the name of the file because otherwise it thinks it's a camrec file or whatever. And then you've got your music. So next... I'm going to unplug my headphones so you guys can actually hear the music this time, so, okay. So next, you need to go into your first priority, Animal Jam. Just want to get in real quick and log in. The next thing you want to do once you're into Animal Jam is go to a den. Um, your friend might have the right den for this, you might have the right den for this. But usually you'll use a barn, but I find that the spring cottage also has like some small areas that'll work. Go to whatever your main animal is. Of course, I'm not going to actually use my main animal for this because um, I already have an intro, so I'm just going to have my flamingo, I guess. And find a really flat green area. And then you want to do an action in this area to make it look cool, like dancing, I guess. That, that works. Then you're going to open up a screen recorder. Right now I have my screen recorder open already, so I'm actually going to have to download one. I've actually downloaded a screen recorder. I can go ahead, and I'm actually not sure how this works, but I'm going ahead to press record, and then I will fit this recorder to the area of my animal I want. Usually, you'll cut out the name tag. And I know for a fact that this screen recorder has a watermark, so that'll be a good example because there is a way you can get rid of the watermarks from your recorders. So if yours does have a watermark and it's like a free recorder, blah, 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 you want to move it just a bit above your animal, but not so much that any lighter or darker shades of green are showing because it makes it much easier when you just have one shade. Then usually I'll start recording at a what I think is a good moment and do it for about, I'd say, six seconds. There we go, I just made a mistake actually. Um, I hovered my mouse over here, and you don't want to do that because it'll mess up your green screen. 
So I'm just going to sit here and let this record for up to six seconds, maybe seven, because you don't want your intro to be like an hour long. That'd be very bad. And I hope that saved, because I'm very bad at this. I'll be right back and see if it saved. I am moderately sure that it has saved, so you want to go wherever your files end up. Mine will go into this document, Bandicam, and you want to click whichever one turned out right. And yes, you see, their Indeedio is a watermark. So you really want to fix that. Wait, why is my screen so tiny? That's not going to work for an intro. Indeedio is because I, I kind of messed up. So if you do that, go to new project. Don't save changes. Who cares? And then you have to put everything in all over again. So usually I'll just put stuff in the media bin, and then, of course, the music doesn't do much. But the first thing you want to start out with, instead of just being an idiot like I was and putting the bandy cam recording straight in, or whatever recording you use recording. Okay, I want to go into annotations and find a shape. It's in that little bar up here. Usually I'll use, it doesn't really matter what you use, but usually I'll use a rectangle. And just expand that so that it fits in the provided screen. Then you can change the fill color, which will make life a lot easier. Trust me. And then you and then you can add your animal. Make sure you stretch out the rectangle for as long as the animal is doing whatever. You can make it bigger. Blah 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 blah. And let's say that like in my intro, you want dual animals. You gotta number one do whatever you need to do to this one, like crop out that um logo thing with the cropping tool right up here and then you want to take okay this is kind of the hard part you want to go into i think it's in visual effects i'm also kind of new with this and there's a picture of this dude and it says remove color so you want to slide that over to your thing in the lob and place it and then right here in this bar it'll pop up and you can click this little color wheel thing, little drop down menu. And you want to click the eyedropper and take the color. You can still see bits of green. So to get rid of those, you'll mess around with tolerance and softness and hue and all that. And of course, you can drastically change the hue, which will help with keeping the video not too much like clashing and stuff. So that's kind of good. Usually, the, the fringe does take away color. So you don't really want to do that. You can also invert it and do that, but I'm moderately sure you don't want to do that. It's probably something you can do with that, but I don't know what it is. So, um, haha. So since you want two animals, supposedly, you're going to go copy. You're going to go to the bar above it and paste it right there. But now they're both facing the same way, and that is kind of sort of ugly. So there is this rotation in the options over here. You click the Y and type in 180 instead of that 0, 0 0.0 and it will rotate all the way around make sure they're even and then you've got your two animals ah that's very loud music two animals dancing to the music um next thing about the music <laughs> is once you've got all this set up you want to find where you want to put your like stuff so usually i'll put it at like some mid ground, like I want it right here at the moment, or at a build up, but I'm way too lazy to find a build up right now. And sometimes it just does not sound good at all with a build up. But then you want to cut, see, there's a tool that you drag, you find where you want, and then you use this tool and split, and you take the extra bit, cut, then you slide all this to the very beginning, and then you can once again slide your little bar right to the end of the little clip thing happening here. And then you can also use the split tool again and cut. And you've just got that right where you want it. So it's kind of hard to figure out what you want to do with the music, but it's usually something that I do first thing first because well, the green screen is first thing first, but it is one of the first things I'll do. So I want to put a fade out on the music, but I want it to be a quick fade out because the music is important. So you try to find, like, a louder point. 
and then try to fade out after that. And it's kind of hard to do, especially with the music that I'm using right now, but it's, it'll work. <laughs> so once you got your music and your dancing flamingos <laughs> all up here, your next priority is text. That should be in annotations. There's the first little bar, which is callouts, and you just want to throw in like a, a text thing. Like that. So then you just type in whatever you want, like let's say, I want to put my channel name in capitals because I'm cool. <laughs> so that's how. And then you want to stretch it out just a little bit <laughs> so that it lies kind of flat, you know. And then you can change the font size, like so. And... You can also change the, well, font. I have gone ahead and downloaded the Animal Jam font ahead of time. It's very easy to do so. Oh, I've been logged out. That's that. You just type in Tiki Island font. And there should be a download just waiting for you. So I'm going to go into my fonts and search for that. Do do do. Tiki Island. Oh no! I lost it. One second. Go into my fonts and search. Tiki Island. And then you can change the color of your text, but it actually looks kind of good on this background with white. And then you kind of go down the basics. Um, let's say I want to add a subheading. Usually, you'll have this in the layer above the said, in the layer above the said heading, the sub said heading. Wow, I'm very smart today. And then I'll have the subheading come in later, like after. Half of the thing is done, which is around three seconds. And then you'll definitely want to do the same font. At least I want to do the same font because I'm kind of boring. I'm a sucker for basic things, but you can make this as complicated as you want to. I'm going to just write the title of an upcoming series that I'm going to do. Adventure with me. We're, we're going to do the um, animal, animal Jam Adventures with sometimes i'll have a guest or something and we'll do them all in order and hope we can get through all of them that's just a little sidebar and sometimes the text is very annoying and doesn't want to change size so this program does eh, take a lot of fiddling with to get used to because you know it'll select things that you don't need selected and all that and i can make the text bigger or smaller Okay, so there we go, and I just have that popped up. So I can also add, like, more animals if I want to, but I'm not going to. So you can just mess around with those basic things, and then I do want to add a good transition. So usually, the best transition to add at the very beginning is, I'd say, glow, because it makes it look, well, it makes it glow, and that's usually cool. And of course, you can't add glow to the music but you also can add it to the text i'm going to also add glow to the stuff that comes in later and there you go then something really cool is the behaviors li little widget thing because it'll something cool is that you can put like the pulsating behavior and it'll kind of move make your stuff seem moving and cool so I'm just going to go ahead and add pulsating to everything to keep it all even and nice. Um, more features that I like are probably the um, jump and fall or drifting because they are ones that kind of come in and out, which is all cool. So I'm going to also add drifting to everything. And you, with this, you can just have an infinite amount of messing around and it'll just make it look so much cooler and way less plain. See, the problem with putting those kind of stuff on the background is that it doesn't really work. I'm just going to X that out and make sure that I don't have any of those. And then here you go. You can see how they kind of did that weird drifty thing in. And then they do the weird drifty thing out. And it's very cool. And I love it. You also want to add a going out transition so that it seems a lot nicer. I usually will add something like the random dissolve because I think it looks awesome. And you can kind of still see it drifting. Usually I won't add it to the background because it does this. Let's just skip a little bit. And 
it makes it end in black and you don't want that you want it to end with a good transition to your video which you can add via um your own editing of the video with the same program so there's our basics um one of the last things i like to add is more detail to the background because right now you can see we just have that really plain pink background you can also use annotations once again to add more detail but i usually like to go ahead and just go over here and search up like stripes or something and this stuff will usually come out and you can always type in stripes transparent background and you'll get stuff like this and this and all that niceness so you just want to go in and find something that you like, save it, download it, and then you just use the plus import media. I think it was called first. No, it wasn't. I always remember your file names because that's my major flaw. I always forget my file names. So you just put that in there, put whatever you want in there, stretch it out a little bit, and usually it'll pop way too much, but there is an opacity slider that can change that. So. I'm just going to use, once again, that weird program that I just bought as an example, if I can find it. I'm not sure where it is. There it is. So you want to take you take your program, let it open up, blah, 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 blah. Of course, I'm not actually going to film the intro with this later. Later, I'm just going to film it over with my normal program. Press record, blah, 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 blah. Then you want to usually minimize this part by just kind of clicking around, trying to figure it out. Usually double-clicking on media will work like a slow double click kind of then you want to do you want to stretch this out make it oh no not do that stretch it and make it fit your little rectangle and i did x out of that little sidebar because it makes the screen a lot bigger just press record and let it run and then stop your recording as like soon as it ends because otherwise you'll get that ugly black screen again so there's the end i hope you guys enjoyed bye